back at the film. Where did you guys think things kind of went wrong for the running game? Um, we had a good game plan going into um, versus Illinois, you know. It's just simple mistakes like um, not fitting a block, you know, that could be like a 70 um, yard touchdown. We just got to clean up on those things and we'll be fine in the run game. Is it hard as a running back to kind of get into a rhythm when it's sort of disjointed and that you, you went a long time between carries at the end of the second quarter to like basically, yeah. like you got your next one at the very end of the third? I mean, is it, is it hard for you to stay in rhythm when you don't get opportunities for long stretches? Definitely as a running back, you have to have a rhythm and momentum to keep on going to like um, have that hot and that fire. But if things are not going well and you don't have that rhythm, you just have to find it, you know? You have to find it, find a way, and then just to get it done. What did it feel like to get that first start? Uh, first start was amazing, you know. Um, I can't, I didn't kind of get into my head, you know. I was just like, you know, first start, let's go. You know, we got to win this fo football game. But fortunately, we got the L, but we're coming back next week for him to get the W. Yeah. Long, long history of football for this program. You're the first true freshman to be the first guy out there at the running back spot. What does that, what does that mean to you? Um, means a lot, but you know I'm not trying to like think about that way too much because we have like a whole season, we have many games to play, so I'm not trying to let that get in my head um, as far as you know everything. But it's, it's it's amazing, you know it's amazing. I'm blessed and I thank God every day for the ability and the potential that I have, and I just want to um, pit it for for my team. What do, you, what do you think you did that put you in the position to get that start, your first career college game? Like, what do, you, what do you feel like you did well to put yourself in there? When I first got here, I felt like my mind was, like, different. I had that champion mindset to, like, get the job done. I studied the plays um, day in, day out, you know, trying to get that down. I studied everything, you know. I paid attention to the detail, and I just went hard in practice, and everything else fell into the place. Champion mindset, what does that, what does that mean? Going to sleep every night, you know, eating right getting your body right, getting your body prepared for things like what happened on Saturday, you know, and just everything, you know, that champion mindset to that winner attitude. So a lot of freshmen want to do what you just did this weekend, getting that started. Next class, when guys come in, what would be the advice that you would give them about trying to replicate what you did? The advice I would give them is to go in like you're that top dog and go in with that, uh, like I said, champion mindset and everything else is just fall, falling in this place. Is that something that you, I mean, you came from an extremely successful high school program. I mm -hmm. want to say your last high school game was for a state title. I mean, is that something that you learned there and yes. you brought with you from what was successful there here to Lincoln? Yes, Buford. Buford, I came from a great high school that pouring in that had that high standard. You know, we had that high standard. Coach Appling, Coach Appling taught us everything, you know. So I just carried that over to Nebraska and it just it has been working out well for me. I heard a lot about how Savion was having a good camp. Didn't see him on Saturday. Um, did that surprise you? Uh, I don't know. That's 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 on him. I, I I really don't. I really don't know. I was just paying attention to what I had to do. Looking forward to Saturday. You're going to be at home with fans, how does that feel? Feels great, you know, I'm glad to, um, this is my first time in Memorial Stadium with all the fans, I'm very excited. Very excited to see all the fans and and, um, and um, looking forward to put a show with, um, on with the fans. Gabe, I apologize if I um, came out here to ask this, but um, was there one specific play that you remember during the game that um, just kind of like maybe woke you up and said, okay, this is college football now? Yeah, first, first play. First, I mean, first, first play, I, I got hit in the mouth. I was like, hey, yeah, that's what I signed up for. It's college football. Let's get it done. Let's go to the next play. Um, pass blocking, it's pretty important for, especially on third downs. Can you just talk about that? Do you think you're good at it? Yep. Um, yeah, pass blocking. Pass blocking is a key for uh, football for the offense, and I had a, I had a few good pass blocks in the game that I secured for a quarterback. That's what you need. That's the key point. That's something you take pride in. Oh yes, very take pride in it because without pass blocking, the quarterback's going to get sacked. You know, you got to. That's a very important thing that you need to get done for a running back. What? I mean, go back if you would to, to June of 2020. You commit to Nebraska. You'd never been able to take a visit out here. You you didn't know this place, and then this upcoming Saturday you're going to get your first game in Memorial Stadium. I mean, what what made you pick Nebraska's sight unseen, and what's your excitement level for just the experience that you never got as a recruit? I mean, that's a normal thing. Guys get to go to an official visit. 
you didn't get that, you're going to experience this fan base, this crowd on Saturday. Well, uh, first reason why I picked Nebraska is because, like, the culture, you know, the um, the coaches, Coach Hell, Coach Beck, you know, they recruited me, and I just felt like in Nebraska I can get the job done, you know, come here for, with a great culture and carry that tradition into um, the field. And I feel like Saturday is going to be great for me, you know, first time in the fan base, you know, with the crowd, and I just want to go in there and get it done. Anything else for Gabe? Thanks, man. All right, thank you. All right, appreciate